come into play tonight. And when the beach serving as difficult and as tough as they are, that's why you're gonna have that low 236 clip for the Rainbow Warriors. We're just about set to get going between Long Beach State and Hawaii. Clark Godbold putting it into the net. Had a little bit more of a difficult night last night as Nathan Harlan had to come into the front row for him. But you know that Godbold has that ability to bounce back as he is an All-American himself as Tred Rosenthal back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. Dearis McRaven. Coach Alan Knight likes to say he jumps 50 inches in the air. I don't think that's true, but it certainly seems like it. <laughs> Holy smokes. I think McRaven is warm, Matt Brown. <laughs> I think he had a good warm up because that was an unbelievable kill. Fans still talking about that swing here. Good pass from Galloway. Guillermo Mavos, they find the middle on the first set of this game. And if I'm Tred Rosenthal, that's where I want to set as many balls as possible. Voss the boss, 8 for 13 last night. Keone Thim, who had a big service run in set two of last night's match. With that serve, as Skylar Varga gets popped up. Good swing from the right side, a la Kaita. A little ricochet off the block there for Todd. Varga ready in defense, in a good spot. Just doesn't get the right dig on that ball. Thim. The transfer from Santa Barbara Community College has been doing a great job at Hawaii at just that. Serving. He has been a serving specialist primarily, but now having to play all six rotations hasn't affected his serve, that's for sure. If anything, it's giving him more confidence. It's more touches for him. He's staying warm. He's staying in the flow of the game. And his serve is undeniably phenomenal. Of course, as we talk about the serve, puts it into the net. You know, those things happen. You know, and we're going to continue to compliment his serving throughout the night, and we'll see what transpires. <laughs> Two-point lead still early, just getting started here in set number one between Long Beach State and Hawaii. Skyler Varga puts it into the net there. And when you talk about a night two of a back-to-back, -back, yes, it is in the same venue in this case. Can you be a little bit more amped up? Can you be a little bit more nervous? Or what is the deal? You know, I, I believe that you're a bit more settled on this second night. Yeah. You've got all those initial first game nerves out of the way, the feeling of the mid, the environment, the fans. And so in this night, I think it becomes more focused on the volleyball skill, which is going to make for high quality volleyball. Well, we certainly had a great end to night one. Again, going 30 to 28. If that wasn't a preview of what could happen tonight, it certainly is something that is not being shown right now as there are back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back service errors. Yeah, definitely not the serving start Coach Knife would like to see from his squad, but I presume that will change as the match progresses as Todd from the end line. Perfect pass. And a great swing, Shapanis from the back row. Good pass, good set from Aiden Knight, finding that thick early, opens up the floor, making it easier for everyone else. Simon Torwe, back to serve for the beach, the 6'10 senior. Born in Spain, grew up in Germany. Todd down the line, just fitting it in. That's a good sign from Long Beach to Torwe serving that ball in the court. He wasn't as effective as he usually is. How about this set from the youngster all the way out? Clark Godbold getting a little stuck in on the inside. Got to stay disciplined. Stay with Todd. 
Nick Raven just seems like he's floating in the air. Thim gets dug up. I think there's a net violation called on the beach. Point Hawaii. Good high swing from Keone Thim. That's what we're going to see a heavy dose of. And as for the beach defense, it's about playing defense behind that block, knowing Thim's looking for those high hands, those edges. Where can they be position-wise to get as many digs as possible? Galloway missing long there. As Aiden Knight will go back to serve. Knight, the setter, setting at around a 350 clip, hitting percentage-wise for the team. He's been doing a great job once again. Outside it goes, Thim blocked and roofed. I think Varga got all of that one. Wow. Varga with a huge penetration on the net there, leaving nowhere for Thim to go. Here we see the quick replay. Tempo outside to Thim. Look at Varga press into the angle. Thim off the top of the block this time. Got bold. Blocked back. Saw a lot of good hitter coverage last night. As no coverage for that. A triple block on Alaka Itad. And that's a great move from Godbold. It's his job as that pin hitter to set up that triple block. Again, the coverage you talked about at Matt Brown. Here's the three-man block. Godbold sealing that line, and that is the goal of the triple. Good pass from Choi. Tough play for Mason Briggs to get that second ball, and it leads to a free ball opportunity for Hawaii. Alakai Todd pounding it down the line. And there it is again, the D ball. Good flow, good rhythm from Rosenthal. A little bit against the flow, I like to see that. He, he prepares what's so great about Rosenthal, 17 year old. He prepares so early, so well. It looks the same every time. Good flow back there for the D. Nurstra. Back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. Find themselves up by two. Well, not anymore after that service error. So a few service errors on either side to start this match. But it's pretty even at this point. I believe that's the fourth service error so far on Hawaii's side. Todd missing long there. How much does that block affect any swing from the Hawaii side? You know, Todd had a lot of time to see that block. That set is close to him. It's up and down, which means he has more vision. He sees that block. So he probably felt those four hands in front of his face looking for the high hands. Thim. My goodness. Sharp, sharp angle. Man, you have to come off an area four playing defense quickly because these swings, these athletic outside hitters are hitting angles as we see there. And Soto's just quite not ready, still moving on defense. You've got to be stopped. Nick Raven having to hang in the air there and now gets the free ball opportunity. Soto's over the block and down. There you see the salute from Sotos, identifying that swing a little higher than the block of Hawaii. Good coverage, again, the coverage of the beach, the coverage of Hawaii looking to extend these rallies, and that's what makes these matches so exciting. Tierris McRaven with the serve, all tied at 10, as McRaven, the middle, playing some back row defense. Fim, tight to the net. Varga, two-handing it over. Scramble play, doesn't work. Skyler Varga finding a hole in the Hawaii defense. Long Beach showing that creativity here early. Skyler Varga with the two-handed set kill. McRaven, of course, the one that is from Hawaii, comes in and makes a big impact against Hawaii as he will break his serve there, Hawaii getting the side out. But a good couple points from McRaven and a dig to top it off. So a good round at the front net there for McRaven. But Voss with another kill. Little break to wipe the floor right now as Keone Thim awaits his turn to serve. 
Averaging a little bit over a kill a set this year. But you can bet those numbers will rise as long as he's the starter. Right side, it's Varga. No touch called, and he misses wide. Varga, sharp angle swing there. No hands to be found. That one sails wide. The Rainbow Warriors up by one, still early here in the first set, looking to get their first conference win of 2024. The net having a little bit to do with that service ace, but it was a great serve nonetheless for Thim. Yeah, and Thim's fired up back there. Long Beach State, the goal when you have a server like Thim is just to get that ball up, passing it 10 feet in the air at the 10 foot line. Give your team some options. Not easy to do though, Matt. Long Beach State going to a four man passing back line. And Clark Godbold with the serve receive. And this time it is Satir Shapani's working it off the Hawaii block. Smart swing from Shapani's. A little chizzy off the side of the block there. Love those terms you use, <laughs> a chizzy. <laughs> Only because I used to do it all the time. <laughs> that just missing down the line on that serve from Skylar Varga. Here comes a serving substitution for Hawaii. And it is their 6'7 grad transfer, Kevin Calling. He's been a, an effective serving sub for them all year long. Of course, a multiple time All-American honoree from Lewis. That serve long. Yeah, that one not getting all of that on top of the ball when I'm speaking about the top spin. Looking for a little more wrap on that ball. That one sails long for calling. Fourth service error for Hawaii. Four service errors for Long Beach State. Good coverage on Hawaii's side. Somehow got it over. Varga, touch called, and Long Beach State will get that point anyhow. And you saw some uh, words from the Long Beach State side. They thought that possibly Hawaii was over the net on that pass. You got to play through. Don't stop. You don't hear the whistle. Play through as Long Beach did there, and they get rewarded. Chapanis with that jump float serve that he's been pulling out. As of late, we saw it really for the first time last night, and a net violation called on Hawaii's attack. And Long Beach State will take a one-point lead. That will lead to a timeout on the floor. Long Beach State. A program that attracts quality athletes, quality humans, which leads to phenomenal volleyball play. By the way, Nato Dickinson coming in as a blocking sub in that rotation for Long Beach State but could not affect that swing from Hawaii, and they get the side out. So Aiden Knipe is back into the front row to set as we are right at that midpoint of the first set, 15 all. Alika Itad back to serve. That just missing long, and that is service error number five for Hawaii side. Uh, both teams kind of giving away a few points on the serves. Definitely will be a conversation uh, for each coaching squad in their next huddle. I'll correct myself. That was service error number six already for the Rainbow Warriors. Galloway working it through that double block. He twisted his ankle last night, but he seems fine right now. Big time swing. That's if you're a Hawaii fan, you love to see this. Looking like he's still jumping all right out there, Matt Brown. <laughs> Heard that he's feeling just fine here for night two, getting the start. I think there's a little bit of blood on one of the players. I think it's Aiden Knight right now, so we're taking a little break to tape it up, patch it up, get it good to go. 
Knipe has had to work through some injuries in past seasons. And he's really been one of those players that has fought hard to get back to the level of kind of like an All-American status, that high level of play. As I think we're set to get back to action. 16-16. And Chaz Galloway back to serve for Hawaii. The senior from San Diego. As Godbold off the triple block. Boy, that is tough to do. What a pearl from Mason Briggs. The jump set from the libero from the back row. Keeping Godbold in rhythm with a little bit of a tempo set. Thim hard off that double block and out. Smart high swing from Keone Thim, who's having himself a lovely evening here to start. It's two for six with that swing. And a new entry into this weekend. Kai Taylor, the 6'2 redshirt freshman from Costa Mesa, coming back to Southern California and serving. And a good one. McRaven able to push it over and down for Long Beach State. We've seen the heat from McRaven, and now we're seeing the off speed from McRaven. And sometimes the set isn't always perfect, and the goal is to better the ball. I think that's a term a lot of teams like to use. Better the ball, right? Setter would love to have that set perfect, but it isn't there, so what are you going to do to make it better? Good work there from McRaven. Nathan Harlan. Our player to watch has come in to serve now. Thim gets dug up by Harlan. Thim again. Just that extra effort to keep the ball in play. Little miscommunication, who's gonna get that ball? And now Chapan is too, handing it down to end that long rally for the beach. So cool, so calm and collected is Chapanis there. Chaos on the court, using his vision, finds the space. Harlan, now with the beach, up by two in set number one, missing on that serve. As it is now just a one point set, and Tred Rosenthal back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. Nate Harlan going to stay in here to play back row for Clark Godbold. McRaven uh, that crossed the net as that was such a great one-on-one -on -one between McRaven and Boss. Bang, bang, play. Another perfect pass from Briggs. McRaven flying. Voss makes the right move, but it just slides under him. Unfortunate break there for Hawaii. Connor Bloom now comes in to serve. Serve into the net there. Double digit service errors if you combine both sides right now in just the first set. Keone Thim, back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. Boy, they would love to have him go on a serving run. That high toss. And the hard serve goes long. Boy, that was 75 miles an hour. I think that's the fastest we've seen uh, between these two teams. In the last night and tonight already. Big time swing, but a break for the beach as they are up two with Farga. Back to serve. That is in. Wow. Great serve from Varga. Big time serve. And Coach and I have talked about it in the post-game presser last night. The effective serving of Varga. And he led the team in service. Good serve, Skylar Varga coming out of the timeout, only just serving another ace. 
We just talked about Skylar Varga and his effective serving. And he keeps it going here after that timeout. Varga, the transfer from the, Univer the University of Saskatchewan. Tight to the net there. Hawaii unable to get it up and over. And Long Beach State on this run once again to close out its hitting percentage. Long Beach State at 500, Hawaii at 250 in hitting percentage. And that may be the biggest difference in this first set as Skylar Varga back to serve once again with set point. Set. Wow, what a set from Trent Rosenthal. Chaz Galloway showing us no signs of weakness on that angle as he as on the ankle as he steps close on that swing. Voss back to serve now. As Hawaii has hit 20, but they've got some work to do to even this up at 24 apiece here in the first set. Voss with the jump spin serve and puts it long. Service errors kind of hurting Hawaii as Long Beach. We have one of our Long Beach legends, TJ DeFalco, uh, leading the charge for the USA squad, who's really become one of the best players. Well, we will have to s talk about an Olympian from Long Beach State later, so let's not give anyone any hints, right? <laughs> <laughs> what a dig there to start off this second set. Net movement there, and it's a net violation on Long Beach State. So it nullifies that great rally. Good work from our down referee there, seeing that net. Tread Rosenthal with the first serve for the Rainbow Warriors. As, boy, the hammer laid from the back row. Clark Godbold. Probably hard for the fans at home to hear the noise that that swing made, but it was quite the thud from Godwald, and it's a good touch there from Sakanoko, who's come into this match for Galloway. And Long Beach State serving right away to the freshman from France, Louis Sakanoko, getting the second set start as Keone Thim will go back to serve. So Sakunoko will be on the left, pretty much in the Chaz Galloway spot. So you hope that that leg is feeling okay, but I'm sure a little bit of load management as well is, is the thought from head coach Charlie Wade. Just want to make sure players are as healthy as possible as the season rolls on. Dig from Thim. Outside it goes, it's Shapani's, and he's able to get a touch and get the kill. What an angle from Shapani's there. That set a little bit off the net. The high finish snap from four to four. Sakanoko not quite ready to dig that ball. Varga back to serve for Long Beach State. All tied at two, just getting started here in the second set. Long Beach State is up in the match. One set to none. Sakunoko tight to the net and gets blocked in roof. It's a really good set from off the net. Wow, getting it all the way up to the net. You want to be aggressive as you can. That's a good chance for Hawaii to recycle, cover that ball. What they've been doing so effectively that time, nobody home. There as that ball drops. Simon Torwi getting in on his first block of the evening. Good block from Guilherme Voss. He only had one block last night and you would probably want to expect a little more. And he puts one on the board here tonight and he was so effective yeah, offensively knows. last night. We'll see if he can be good offensively and defensively tonight. Hawaii's gonna need it, I think, Matt. Flying solo on that block. Is Guillermo Vos back to serve? 
Varga missing, trying to go down the line. And you can just see how much torque, how much effort is required to try and get by both of these teams' blocks. It's a really difficult ball to hit coming all the way across the court as well. Difficult ball to set for Aiden Knight. Torwi has to bump it over. Little misconnection there. And now Sakanoko with that roll, roll, roll shot. Sakanoko there with the chef's kiss on that roll shot, freezing the defense. Uh, it's one thing if you open hand tip, it's late, but if you keep that hand open, you look to swing, it can really hold defenses as we saw there. Nice play. Float serve from Voss, and it leads to a Hawaii ace. That pass going into area four. Nobody home there. Some miscommunication from Sotos and Aiden Knight. Saw Voss bring out the jump spin serve, but right now, back to that jump float. Godbold responding from the back row. That pass a little bit tight, but not a problem as Aiden Knight uses the boosties to get that tight ball. Here we see the replay right at the peak, and Godbold with the kill out of the back row. That's a blocking roof for Torwi. That is a straight up read block from Torwi. He is not committing early on the middle there, Nurserer. He is reading the game and making that move. That is so difficult to do. Nicely done from Torwi as he collects another block. Nurserer misses wide there. I like Tred Rosenthal going back to Nurserer there. We have a challenge on the side of Hawaii. I believe they're looking. Let's see it from our end. Was there a net touch? Yep, definitely seems so. That right arm of Simon Torwi. And a good call. Good work from our referees there. And piggyback off what you said last night about the challenges. Coach Naip had, I think, three successful challenges on the night that seemed just to be back to back to back. Kind of a deflating uh, energy killer for Hawaii side. And Naip talked about it after the match, saying, you know, he doesn't really see it very often. He is trusting his squad. And he talks about the boys using their head, not our hearts, to not make emotional calls during the challenge. So great discipline from the beach. Alaka Itad with the serve. Bump over and down, but out of bounds from Hawaii. And Long Beach State has been winning these tough rallies. And Choi staying in there, keeping his helmet on for that scoop. And I don't think we talked enough last night about how well he played balancing the serve reception and collecting nine digs last night. Thought he did really well. Sakanoko over the block and fitting it in. And that's a creative swing there on a busted pass from Sakanoko. Here we see the replay. Good late step close, just high. Somehow brings it back down just over the top of Aiden Knight. Louis Sakanoko, highly, highly touted from Paris. Good swing, Tred Rosenthal. And we've been seeing the setter for Hawaii trying to be a little bit more offensive in the front row. And you love to see it. A six foot, a six foot eight freshman, his height advantage gives him that opportunity to be aggressive at the net and take big swings like that. Go ahead, young fella. Well, here's a big difference that you can see statistically between the setters. Rosenthal, well over 30 kills on the year. Aiden Knight, who is looking to take that second ball for Long Beach State, 
just two as that attack will go Long Beach State's way. A touch is called. Yeah, you're definitely going to see more kills from Rosenthal. That swing on a busted pass from Sotos goes down, and I think Choi was thinking it hit the net and no blocker, but that ball had a lot of ricochet off the net. Thim hard off the block. Sakanoko, that creative secondary ball, but it doesn't work this time. Long Beach State's block was ready. McRaven says, you shall not pass on that swing there. But here you see this big, what a lot of teams around the world are doing, passing that free ball in the middle of the court, letting that outside hitter decide if they're going to swing or set. There's the kill from Todd on the D-ball there, but that just goes to show you the high-level play, the international style of play that Coach Knight has talked about, this Hawaii squad and how they play. That is one facet that we see right there. Yeah, and we're seeing the two-hand over with pace. That is something that is developing internationally as well. So whenever you see those things that you don't really see before, it's probably because these players are seeing it on the pro level. As Voss puts it up and Thim misses wide there. I think we're gonna get a challenge from Hawaii's side. And Coach Charlie Wade, I think gonna discuss something with something different in the replay. They're allowed to just make the right call even if the challenge wasn't accepted. And the call on the court is no touch. And that, that slash-like motion from Tom Ulibari says that it, it, there just isn't enough evidence. You need enough evidence to overturn a call, and it was just indiscernible. Either way, Nathan Harlan now in to serve for Long Beach State. Them just one blocker up, and it's too easy. And he gets one blocker up because of that aggressive approach from Voss holding Long Beach State's Darius McRaven on that block, one-on-one -on -one for Thim. Here's Rosenthal. Shapani's dug up by Sakanoko. Just put right back down, Dears McRaven. McRaven floating out there, Matt Brown. I, I'm just in awe right now of his lateral movement. Here we see the replay, lateral movement and then ability to elevate it. If you're gonna tip it over him, you gotta go higher. Voss blocked and roofed with McRaven going back to serve. It's now Simon Torwey getting in on the block party for the beach. And that's gonna be seven blocks already for Long Beach State doing what they do best. From the back row, Nate Harlan getting in on the offense for Long Beach State. So he's staying in once again and contributing. And you see it there. That time the 40, we like to call that set a 40 where it's not in the middle of the court, it's just behind the setter. So some movement, especially in transition, create a different look for that Hawaii block and deep. High back set from Rosenthal. I think there was a net, yet yeah, net violation called on Long Beach State. So point Hawaii, they tie it back up. So yes, a net violation on Long Beach State, but still another block touch uh, from them. And that is, you know, those add up in the mindset of Hawaii as they continue to swing and try to challenge this defense of Long Beach State. Keone Thim. Just a monster serve and a monster block. Voss and Todd combining on the double block. Good movement at the net there from Voss and Todd, and that's a big block, those forehands. Good step shuffle for Voss, and he secures the block. Thim to serve again. Now Hawaii up by one here in the second set. That one into the net. This was the set that Keone Thim went on a long run 
at the beginning of that set, gave Hawaii a big advantage. However, just some things happened in the middle there, and Long Beach State was able to fight back and win it. 15 service attempts last night for him. He had four service errors, so not as many aces that we're used to seeing as Varga puts that one wide down the line. So that is nine service errors for Hawaii and seven service errors for Long Beach State as Kai Taylor comes back in to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. Boss discussing things with Milan Zarkovic. Kupono Fey there as well as Taylor misses on that serve. It's a difficult role. The serving sub to come in and put an aggressive serve on the court. I think we're spoiled having Nate Harlan on the side of Long Beach. And as Hawaii, usually Keone Thim uh, as two of the best serving subs in the nation. Yeah, but Thim now having to start. Nathan Harlan having to play the front row. Both of them getting a little bit of full-time action as there is Luis Sakonoko getting action as well in the front row and the kill. It is 15. Yes. Yes. Yes, you're right. As there is Luis Sakonoko doing something that I think David Lee did very well, and that's handle over passes. Gosh, David Lee is a beast on the volleyball court and just an absolute gem of a human being off the court. One of my good friends, I almost looks as if his hand comes down through the net mat, and our down referee, Tom Bari, confirming that. So now, Long Beach State taking the point away and tying it up at 15 apiece. As Simon Torwe, speaking of great middles, goes back to serve for the beach. That spin serve has just been not off in that sense. It's just been off in general for Torwe. Yeah, we're so used to. I think we're spoiled with how good Torrey serves and how consistent his serve has been for the beach. Just hasn't quite found the touch last night or tonight. Good serve from Sakanoko as the man from France finds an ace. Louis Sakanoko making an impact. That's the goal when you're coming off the bench. How can you change the flow of the game? And Sakonoko doing on the serve. Good work from Sakonoko at the end line. As he comes out of the timeout, looking to extend this Hawaii lead here in set number two. This was the set where the Rainbow Warriors had a good amount of a lead in last night's match. They're looking to do so again here tonight. But the timeout works from Long Beach State side. And that serve goes into the net. Good timeout. Again, Sakonoko only a freshman, six foot five, so tons of potential for this young athlete. That one down uh, for Rosenthal. So quick. It goes in his hand and it's down on the ground. And that's the benefit the height of Tred Rosenthal there on that dunk. And you can see the Hawaii fans here in attendance. They always travel well. As we're in the Walter Pyramid for this two match set. Long Beach State fans, of course, out in droves. And the student section all filled up for this great 1v2 matchup. Keone Thim blocked back. Good coverage. Alakai Todd from the right side in the back row and a good kill. Big time coverage from UH there and it turns into a point. Swing of momentum here, 19-16. Here's the big swing from Todd inside the block of McRaven and Varga. Nurse to her. Back to serve for Hawaii. Chapani's off the block and down. The back row attack from either side has been effective. Chapani's doing what he does best with the, with the thumb down, wrist away swing, as we like to say, 
it's so important as a big hitter to find different angles. You don't want it to swing directly into that block, and Shapani's showing us how it's done there. Oh, that seemed like an overpass, and somehow Long Beach State is able to keep it alive. Thim uh, off the block. What a rally. I know it wasn't as long as some other ones, but that was impressive. Nathan Harlan from his back. As we check out the replay here, on his back, just slapping it mm. up, doing whatever he can to keep that ball alive. And that is the name of the game, keep the ball off the floor. McRaven blocked back, great coverage, Shapanis. The jump set by Choi, overpass to overpass to Guilherme Vox. Wow, big time play there from UH. The tight set at the net. Todd staying clear of that net and then the overpass for Voss. Coach Alan Knight talking with the R2, Tom Ulibari. So that's what the pause in the action is for. I think he's just discussing a detail in that last rally. And now, Tred Rosenthal back to serve for Hawaii. Up by four late here in the second set. Joust won by Todd. Opportunity for the beach. Triple block and oof. Hawaii non-stop right now here in the end of the second set. They're trying to close out this second set. They call it the Manoa Rukshin Weld. As Tred Rosenthal misses on that serve out of the timeout. That was a break that Long Beach State needed. Still down four here in set number two as Connor Bloom comes in to serve for the beach. Connor Bloom, one of those serving subs coming in again, who was effective last night with his serving. As he had four total service attempts last night and one ace. Outside it goes, Alaka'i Todd. Big swing, a big kill. And it looks as if Tred Rosenthal has really settled into the match. It, it looks like a calmer, more focused Tred Rosenthal than it was last night. That first night in the mid, with some nerves. Setting not as crisp, I'm sure, as he would like tonight. He's looking good. Keone Thim. With Hawaii. Closing in on a set two victory. Long Beach State having to recycle and recycle again, but it works. Skylar Varga. Keep setting him. I think Varga a little quiet on the night so far, Matt. He's now four for 12 with that kill after a couple big swings. And Big confidence for Aiden Knight to keep flowing it back there and keeping Hawaii on their toes at the net. Nato Dickinson is in as a blocking sub, but it doesn't matter there. Serve going into the net. And now Hawaii with set point here in the second set, looking for their first set victory of this weekend. And Guilherme Vaz will go back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors and half the pyramid on their feet here to sell it, look for this Hawaii mat set point. It's called Aloha Ball <laughs> in set number two. Not so fast, says Skylar Varga, and Varga's looking to get going offensively. And that's one way to do it. Looks like a little miscommunication at the net. Alakai Todd dropping his hands on that block, so Nurster just up there by himself as, as Shapanis. Well, that hybrid serve as Sakonoko off the triple block. 
Sakanoko again, the firepower on display. Pounding it down and the set to victory goes. We're underway here in the third set. Coming over, Skylar Varga, hello. <laughs> As Keone Thim puts it down for Hawaii. And we are in the front row here <laughs> as Varga coming over to say hello. And how about that swing from Thim? Almost nobody up, and he just hammers that inside the 10-foot line. Always fun here, sideline and courtside. As Varga now on the other side, a lot safer for us because that was a hard attack off the block. You know, we had a uh, errant ball come our way and just ping your MacBook last night. RIP <laughs> to that thing. And now we have a body coming into the ESPN booth on the sideline here. You have to be careful when you're sitting this close to the action. Nathan Harlan missing on that serve. So Harlan in for Long Beach State to start this third set. It's always that pivotal third set. That can be on the minds of both teams as Keone Thim goes back to serve for Hawaii. Good serve from Thim. That was 74 as that ball is off the Hawaii block and it somehow goes out of bounds, trickling off the net. That's such a difficult ball to get a kill on. Shapani's showing us how to work the edges of the block. You hear a lot of athletes talk about that as they attack, especially off the net. You know you have a bunch of hands in your face. Back set, two hand over with pace. And I'll cut you Todd with a kill. Yeah, Todd kind of shoveling that one from his shoulder over the net. Not a problem. Referees don't mind. It goes down. Another way to get a kill as we're seeing a variety of that around the nation. Float serve from Voss. Simon Torwe putting it down there. Now Long Beach State ties it back up by three. So good throw down there from Torrey. This totally legal as long as that ball is in front of you and there's a continuous motion. Totally clean kill from Torrey. Todd off the block and there's a net violation called on the beach. Good dig from the beach there. It looked like Torrey on his way down trying to see where that ball went. Maybe got an elbow into the net there. Here's Todd back to serve again for the Rainbow Warriors. Left hand over from Torwi. And now Sakanoko with the kill through the double block. And Hawaii now just seems to be on a roll. Volleyball is just looking a little easier on the side of Hawaii right now. Long Beach State really having to work to earn a side out. Good spin serve from Todd. Here's Harlan from the back row. That's blocked back by Nurster. Varga high off the block. Good save by Thim initially but it ends in a beach point. Good touches there from Hawaii with a chance to get that one back over. And now Shapanis goes back to serve for the beach. That short jump float serve. Block and a roof. Torwe and Knight combining on the double block. As hard as Sakanoko hit that ball, it came back even harder off the hands of Simon Torrey. Here we see the replay. He takes one big step. You can barely see the ball as it goes down. And there's a kill from the back row. Keone Thim answering for Hawaii. Good decision there from Rosenthal. 
I don't think Long Beach State was expecting that set, and that is the goal if you're a setter. Keep the defense on their toes. Sakunoko back to serve. And sends that one long. Though that one was at 70 miles an hour. And for those at home that won't exactly know what we're talking about in terms of miles an hour, for men's volleyball, 70 is pretty much plus serving. Above average, I would say, is 70. And we already saw a 75 from Thim. And I, I'm guessing that is one of, if not the hardest serve uh, in the nation as you see a huge block from Nate Harlan and Dearis McRaven. The beach block coming back into play here in set number three. As we are all tied up at one set apiece. Long Beach State and Hawaii. Simon Torwe. Good serve, keeping it in this time. From the back row, Shapanis, the big working as McRaven kind of pulled that Hawaii block over. And it starts with the block touch at the net, giving Long Beach State an opportunity to get into a good transition rhythm. And that time, the Bic working for Shapanis. Sending it long that time. Long Beach State still up by one here in the third set. They are hitting a lot better, airless right now at 7.14 here in this set alone. In set number two, they were held to 200 hitting as Nurster goes back to serve for Hawaii. And an ace, Kurt Nurster down the line. The line to line serve, that's the fastest angle, if you will, on the court. Takes a little bit more time to go into the angle down the line. So fast, it gets on the serve received quickly. Good serve from Nurster. You see on your screen, that was the fifth service ace of the night for Hawaii. Long Beach State with just two. That was a little bit of an advantage for the beach last night as well. The serving just seemed to go their way, but now Hawaii is showing why they're the number one team in the country in service aces. Just one ace last night. You knew that just wasn't going to last for Hawaii as they have turned it up here tonight. Oh, what a block, Nathan Harlan. There's a reason why he was our player to watch tonight, and there's no choice but to watch him there. Three blocks last night, and he puts another block on the board. That's his second of tonight. Chapan is working it through the double block. And now Long Beach State feeling the momentum in set three. That momentum has definitely shifted. I talked about how volleyball looked easy on the side of Hawaii. Well, not the case at the moment. Thim. Touch called, and Hawaii gets the side out. That was a scud missile there into the angle. Those balls are even harder to dig than the ones that have the top spin, in my opinion. Here's a great set from Rosenthal and him. Little, maybe a little backspin on that one, Matt. Here's Rosenthal. Varga off the block. McRaven to handing it over that time. Thim, I don't think he got a touch on that one. And Long Beach State gets the side out. So unforced error there for Thim. Now it's Harlan. Back to serve once again. Serving sub initially, but now playing all six rotations. Thim taking advantage of a little late block from McRaven. And it looked as if that set was just a little bit inside on purpose for Thim on the right side. It just created a different look. And it works out for Hawaii.
Overpass. And Alakai Tide taking advantage. McRaven there late on the block and his hands just high and off the net. Instead of just trying to create a good spot on the net for that block, he's reaching high, not taking up anything over the net. Long Beach State adjusting to a four-man pass in the back row here on this Keone Thim serve. Varga taking the pass this time. Varga going down the line, that's in. Oh, and a sneaky down the line swing from Varga. It sets a little low. Sakunoka was all over the angle. Didn't expect the line heater from Varga. Now McRaven goes back to serve. Through all of that, Long Beach State still up by two. Right side, Todd. Net violation called on the beach. And Hawaii closes to within one. And all these nets on the beach kind of tell me we're being a little over aggressive, trying to penetrate the net. Uh, Got to trust the discipline, trust the practice. You don't need to go higher for some of these swings. Voss. Right side. Varga gets dug up. Sakanoko blocked and roof. And that is not where you want to swing if you're Sakanoko into the big six foot ten block of Simon Torrey. Good recover here, recycle from Hawaii, but Sakanoko finding that there's that discipline block we're looking for from the Torrey. 2023 second team All American Simon Torrey led the nation in blocking a year ago. That is out of bounds, no touch called. Long Beach State would like a call from the referees, but it doesn't matter, they got the point. They're at 15 first, and we will take a break here on ESPN Plus, more set three, coming your way, Big West men's volleyball. Hope you're enjoying your Saturday. Varga missing on that serve. So the timeout works in favor of Hawaii. Of course, that was just a timeout on the floor as Alaka Itad goes back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. The beach up by two in this always pivotal third set. Mason Briggs. Taking that second ball, and there is a triple block put up by Hawaii. It's a strong, sturdy three-man block there. He got in the hands of Rosenthal and Nurster. Nowhere for Shapanis to go. Seems like we're just going back and forth here in the third set, even though Long Beach State has had that point advantage. Right side, Varga from the back row. Good dig initially by Choi. It's put back over. Here's a free ball. Opportunity Beach. Put down Simon Torwe. Hawaii scrapping right now, not letting anything touch the ground. But they give Hawaii, uh, Long Beach State a free ball, and Simon Torwe makes them pay. There's that dig from Choi, the full layout. And how about this save from Thim? Here we see Torrey off the net. When he jumps from eight feet off the net, it's so difficult to block for Hawaii. An ace for Shapani. He's able to go right down the line. I like that serve from Shapani. If I'm Long Beach State, Sakunoko is my serving target out here. And I'll specify, it's not exactly down the line for Shapani because he goes right from the middle of the court, and, and that kind of angle is a different one for passers. Many ways to serve from the end line. When you go from the middle, it can create angles in both directions that are difficult to pass. Net violation called on Long Beach State. I think that would have been a Hawaii kill anyway. As Sakunoko will go back to serve. Hawaii just responding over and over again in the third set. 
Louis Sakanoko. Played with the U22 team, national team in France. Puts that serve into the net. Opportunity for the beach here with Simon Torrey going back to serve. The Craven in the front row now. Three point advantage for the beach. Here's Torwey. That serve into the net. Crunch time coming up here, Matt Brown. Service pressure, staying high, but need to put it in the court for you to score points. Kurt Neustra. That jump spin serve. And now it's Skylar Varga. High off the hands and it works. Varga stretching out to get that set, that tempo. The D-ball from Aiden Knight. Varga finding a way to get that down. And it's a good sign. Varga, a slow start in this match, but really has turned it on. He is now nine for 20. Triple block and that is in. Long Beach State, I think, is going to challenge that, though. Yeah, and Coach Allen Knight quickly out of his chair to come and challenge that. Interesting play at the net, Matt Brown. Could have almost blocked that ball with his head. If, if Thim hit that lower, it would have hit him in the head. And there's the call on the court, and the ball is in. So point Hawaii. So it stays with the Rainbow Warriors. And a little bit of a timeout here on the floor to check the rotation. And now it's Tred Rosenthal back to serve. Harlan has to tip it over. Thim. Trying to work it off the beach block. Varga, high hands. Todd, high hands as well, and it works for Hawaii. Good rally there from both sides. Taking high swings, bettering some of these balls. That set to Nate Harlan early in that match, not or early in that set, not really where he wanted it. He tips it over, gives an opportunity in transition. Kill for Hawaii. Rosenthal with Hawaii just down one here in the third set. McRaven gets dug up. Free ball opportunity for the beach. Varga working it off the single block on the outside in that rotation, and it works for the beach. Love that set from Aiden Knight in transition. I felt as if he was going to set McRaven. He gets Voss to jump on McRaven. Good approach from him and then flows it outside to Varga for the swipey. Nato Dickinson in the front row now as a blocking sub for the beach. Harlan back to Sir. High hands, I think Harlan had a shot at it, but Hawaii and Keone Thim with the kill. Great touch off the block. Harlan had the time it seemed, he kind of miss hit, miss contact that ball with one Arm coach always tells you to go with two, Matt Brown. Uh, I think maybe a little too casual there for Nate Harlan. Thim back to serve, four-man pass for Long Beach State, set up. Good pass by Skylar Varga, two-hand over from Shapanes. Sakanoko hard off the block, and we're all tied up. Good set from Rosenthal there, pushing it. Look at this, this is a hard set to make with force all the way across the floor. He's backing up onto his sideline. He gets it all the way to the pin. That is one of the most difficult sets to not. Keone Thim back to serve, coming out of the timeout. 20, 20 in set number three. 
serve into the net. Timeout works for Allen Knight. Big time timeout, big point here. And now it's a race to five or to four, if you will, for Long Beach State. But this is the crunch time here. Limiting our errors on the court is what you're looking for. Who can play most efficient volleyball and still stay aggressive to close out this third set. Connor Bloom is in to serve for the beach. Off the net and put back onto the beach side. Mm. So close, so close. Here comes Voss back to serve for Hawaii. All tied up at 21 now. Varga dug up by Thim, goes over. Harlan doesn't seem like he was ready for that set. He was not ready for that set, and it's a tough set to make. Nate Harlan is passing that free ball on the 10-foot line, so Aiden Knight's got to identify that Harlan might be out of the play there for him to get back. He totally can do it. He knows how to do it. He is just so late there, not engaged. Eight. Of course, you see Santa Barbara twice to open up their conference play. All comes to a head here. Night two against Hawaii. And Skyler Varga able to get the side out for the beach. Big time set, big time swing from Varga as he works the line again. We saw in the previous kill from Varga down the line. This time it works. 22 all. Varga. An important serve there. Todd blocked and Roof. Good discipline at the net. Third set. Varga. Good serve. Sakanoko. No touch called. And it is set point. For, Hawaii, for Long Beach State, I think Hawaii's gonna challenge. No, they're gonna call a timeout. No challenge there from head coach Charlie Wade. That's back to serve again. Into the net, the timeout works for Hawaii. Varga has been so consistent with his serve. Good. Timeout there from Hawaii. Four-man pass set up for Alaka'i Todd serve now as Hawaii looks to tie things up. Still set point for Long Beach State. Torwe. Simon Torwe has come up big here in this third set, giving Long Beach State the advantage. Two sets to one. Right now. Hawaii definitely Playing for Spiros. And Spiros Hakas out for this season. But we hope he recovers well. For Long Beach State, that's a good side out to start, set number four. Skyler Varga now 12 for 25 on the night. Getting more sets, becoming more efficient. This is what I see from the beach, limited errors on their swings. Only seven for the match. 19 on the side of Hawaii. Shoot set to Voss. Going over and that's a block in roof. Long Beach State's block has just come up big all night long. Just keeps coming. It's the discipline here for Long Beach State. It's hours and hours of reps in the gym. Well, we've seen some net violations, mostly on Long Beach State's side. How hard is it to just keep going back at it and at it again and getting that success? You know, you got to rely on the practice and the reps that you get in the gym. Good set from Rosenthal. Just and it leads to a Todd kill. Just out of reach there for Mason Briggs. But yeah, back to the blocking. You know, you have to get the mind right to get back in the game and let yourself go. Okay, I did hit the net once or twice. Reset, refocus. Don't dwell on those past plays. Reset, refocus seems to be a theme for both teams, both programs, as that 
Goes into the net from Keone Thim. Big break of a serve for Long Beach State as Simon Torwey now comes back into the front row. Dearis McRaven back to serve. The Orange Coast College transfer, of course, went to Mwanalua High School in Hawaii. Mwanalua was 12th in the nation ranked when he was playing there as that is a kill for Luis Sakanoko. And Keone Tham doing a favor for McRaven as that ball was definitely going out of bounds, but perfect pass, perfect set, and a nice kill off the hands for Sakanoko. Tight set out of system. It does not matter to Sakunoko, and that's a reason why coaching uh, in the modern day prefers that tight set. you got to be aggressive. The chances of your hitter scoring when the ball is tight is greatly increased than when it's at 10 feet off the net. Give them a chance to be creative at the net. Right side back row, Varga finding the floor and the corner. Another big swing from Varga. What I'm seeing right now from the beach, attacking that third blocker coming over. Here we see the replay. Looks like right in between Todd and Nursterer on that swing from Varga as he goes back to the service line. Sakanoko. Good dig, Mason Briggs, the All-American. Pretty much every year as Sakanoko, though, responds going down the line. Creativity from Sakanoko. Hammer into the angle gets dug. This time, he gets a second chance, and he goes down the line. Tred Rosenthal just flowing out there now. All tied at four. Here in set four. Oh, the back set to Chopani's good dig, Sakanoko. Sneaking it through the block. Did it hit the antenna? It did, Point Hawaii. Bang, bang, play at the net. And Sakanoko on a heater to start this four set, doing everything for Hawaii, everything going his way. And it feels nice. And yeah, it stays with Hawaii, so maybe just nothing doing, and he got a break. Uh, Tom Ulibar is explaining to Aiden Knight that it did touch the antenna, so I guess that's what they were challenging. Here we see, oh yeah. yeah, off the hands of Knight and then flowing into the antenna, and then it gets ricocheted back. That is not allowed the minute it hits that antenna, whether it's above the net, below the net, the ball immediately out of bounds. And probably Tom Ulibari telling Aiden that it wasn't you playing it, it was before you were able to play it that it hit the antenna. And probably did not see that in live time. But here comes a Long Beach State serve following a service error from Hawaii, Nalaka Ita. I think that's now 18 service errors for Hawaii, 15 for Long Beach State. Good dig by Varga, kept up. Set over. Rosenthal to Sakanoko. Played up. What a save, Skylar Varga. Free ball opportunity, Rainbow Warriors. Nurse Durer ending that rally. Nurster been quiet offensively on the night. That's only his fifth set of the night, Matt Brown. But he is ready to go. Good joust at the net. Look at this hustle here from the beach. Varga having to hop over Knight to get that ball in. Nurster finishing it off with the gap. Just his second kill of the evening. As Harlan off the block. Recycle. Play goes on 
as Harlan rolls, shotting it into the block. Free ball opportunity, Hawaii. Saka Noko from the back row. Big time rally here, and Saka Noko is everywhere right now. Rosenthal finding him front row, back row. And now a little bit of break, a uh, shoe tie, a wipe of the floor. Just so much effort. I know Aiden Knight went out of his shoe uh, last night. That is correct. There you see a look at our attacks total. 97 for Hawaii to 80 for the beach. Here's this recycle opportunity for the beach, but it goes back over. And now Sakanoko got that kill to end that rally with the serve. Good pass from Harlan. Opportunity for Hawaii here. Thim, no touch called, and that one is out. So we talked about setting the ball a bit tighter out of system. It's easier said than done, but that just goes to show you when that ball is an extra two to three feet off the net, how much harder it is to get a kill error there from Thim. Here's Simon Torwey. Keeping that serve in, and it leads to an overpass. Shapani's what a dig by Sakanoko. Them blocked and roofed. Big time dig, Sakanoko making himself felt all over the court, but it ends with the Long Beach State block. Continuing the blocking prowess here tonight. Here we see the replay. Again, another ball off the net for Thim, and it's hard to do, Matt. The, the, the difficulty increases greatly to score on those balls. When you were hitting against the three-man block 10 feet off the net, what were you thinking back when you were playing I mean, for my, State? My goal was to just work that line blocker, work the setter, work the opposite down the line best I could. Keep it away from the middle as Torwey puts it into the net. One-point lead now as Curtin Nurstwer goes back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. Born in Germany, grew up and raised in Indianapolis. Now a good jump serve. Shapanis, little off center in the back row and that was by design and it works perfectly. Good movement, it starts with a great pass from Mason Briggs. And a good bick from Shapanis. Ada Knight with the serve for the beach. Outside, Thim off the block. Net violation called on the beach. Doesn't matter. Hawaii with the side out. And this time, Thim scoring in system with that set from Rosenthal. Better opportunity for Thim. I like that Rosenthal goes back to him. That's just building trust in your pin hitters. Good serve from Tred Rosenthal. Get up by Leo Choi. That goes wide and Long Beach State with the side out. So close, Thim working the edges and being undersized, you have to be creative out there. And so that's why we're seeing maybe a few more errors from Thim as he works to find ways to score. Oh, the change up from Harlan. Good pass though from Choi. Shapanis! The block defense, Long Beach State unrelenting right now. Thim giving it all he can on these swings here. And this one just comes back up. Shapanis says thank you very much. Gosh, how high level volleyball are we watching here tonight? How about that save from Choi on that yeah. serve? The crowd ooing and eyeing on that. It could have been easily an ace, but it ends up being a perfect pass off the flipper from Choi. As Harlan back to serve again. Block and a roof. 
McRaven and Varga combining. And just when Long Beach State needs something to turn the tide, it's their blocking. Here we see the synchronization of the block and then that press with the right hand from McRaven, and that feels good for McRaven. Oh, Voss able to wipe it off the beach block. Net violation technically, but just give that point to Guilherme Voss. So smart, Guilherme Voss. What is that man's GPA? Because he is smart <laughs> out here on the court. He must be good in the classroom. Here's Keone Thim back to serve again. That into the net. And Sixth service error on the night from Thim. Thim looking a little fatigued out there. You know, the other thing with being undersized, it takes a lot of effort to jump. Every single ball, he is max jumping on every swing. So that takes it out of you in a four setter. Oh, hard off the block, Sakunoko. Harlan, dug up. Sakunoko again, triple block, and that falls. Good change up there from Sakunoko. Smile on his face after that kill. Good out of system set. They received the out of system set near the net from Thim. Good work from Hawaii. Kevin calling back in to serve for the Rainbow Warriors as a little pause to wipe the floor. Long Beach State up by one. Here in the fourth set, they're looking to close things out here against the number one team in the country. Calling, the Lewis transfer, who has worked his way back from a 2023 injury and has done well off the bench for Hawaii. I think that was off the top of the head of Kurt Nursterer. Torwi again, good diving save by Calling. Sakanoko works it down. Good coverage from Hawaii and a big dig from McCauley. Excuse me, calling. Coming in there with the serve and the big dig. There's the dig and just oh, again, Sakanoko over the top. Serve into the net there. Break for Long Beach State. As now it's Skylar Varga back to serve for the beach. They still have that one point advantage here in the fourth set. Varga back to serve, leading Long Beach State with 13 kills on the evening, hitting 407. Block back, recycle. Block, no recycling there, the roof from Torwey. Oh, and that's a scary sight to see a fired up Simon Torwey and getting rewarded for his hard work at the net middle blockers, maybe the hardest position out there on the court and getting those blocks feels good. Keeps the fuel in the tank for Torwey. Varga missing on that serve. Long Beach State is able to get Good natural point there. Shift the balance just a little bit. Alakai Todd back to serve now for the Rainbow Warriors. Mason Briggs with the jump set. And Shapanis finding the corner for Long Beach State. Brilliant from Shapanis. That. that jump float serve, giving Sakunoko some trouble. I don't think that ball went over the net. Either way, Long Beach State point. Sakunoko's been targeted a lot with the float serves here, and he's really doing a good job fighting these off. That time, creating a little bit of trouble on his side, and he hits that one into the net for the unforced error. Hawaii has not hit over 200 in any set so far tonight. 
as Sakunoko now able to work it off the beach block that time. I foresee some blocking reps for Long Beach State next week with some swiping off the hands of those pin blockers. Hawaii doing a really good job using and abusing the block of the beach. Sakunoko to serve. Into the net there. As Hawaii's serve has struggled a little bit. 21 service errors and a new entry into this match for Long Beach State. The eighth match appearance on the year for Dane Hillis, 6'3 redshirt sophomore from San Clemente. What a match to be inserted into in 2024 for Hillis as he misses on that serve. Serving subs, looking to make an impact. We've seen many different players come in and provide a spark. Dane Hillis didn't have it on that one. Kai Taylor coming back in for the Rainbow Warriors. Of course, for Hawaii fans, the Taylor name. Pretty big there as his cousin is Nikki Taylor, one of the great pin hitters for the Rainbow Wahine. Oh, what a rally just to keep it alive, but it ends in a beach point. <laughs> Using the chest to get the dig there. The fans loving that one, but unfortunately, another unforced error from Keone Thim, who's got 10 on the night. Long Beach State is up by three here in the fourth set. Trying to close it out. Thim work. Kicking it in there. No error on that swing for Thim, but errors the real Achilles heel of this Hawaii team tonight. Matt Brown, 27 errors on the night. And of course, that includes the blocks because Long Beach State has 17, so it's tough. Shapanis, what a dig, Liu Choi. And the swing from Thim. What a scoop from Choi, absorbing all of that. Just kind of sliding into the pocket there. No big deal from Choi on that dig. Long Beach State. Having to call a timeout. They're still up one here in this fourth set formation. And it just highlights how important defense is for all your athletes at home. Go to the gym, work on defense, because it can keep you in the game. Here's Rosenthal with the serve. Tough pass, and the swing from them. We are all tied. What a swing from them here. Mm. <laughs> Caught. Nipe, of course, he's a back row player, so he couldn't go up and block it. Good dig, Sakunoko. Good dig, Shapanis. Harlan, off the block. Voss, good dig, Mason Briggs. Kept alive. Thim, pushing it across. Shapanis is there. Varga, left side. Popped up. Todd. Popped up by Knipe. Here comes Varga again. What a rally here. Thim. Rally of the night, Matt Brown. We are playing some volleyball out here. It's men's volleyball has been so exciting here in 2024 as Tred Rosenthal goes back to serve once again for the Rainbow Warriors. Here comes Skylar Varga, off speed, popped over. McRaven blocked back. Harlan dug up, net violation on Hawaii. Big time save there on the beach side. Sakanoko with another big dig. Unfortunate net violation. 
from Thib on UH, and that ties us up 19 apiece. You can just feel it is tense in here, Matt. Nathan Harlan. Good serve, better pass. Todd, was there a touch? There was. Yeah, no complaints there from Varga. Todd confident after that swing is high and deep. And back to serve for Hawaii. Keone Thim. A little bit off today, serving wise in terms of keeping it in. But you know he always has that green light. As he misses once again there. A big break that Long Beach State looking to take advantage of as we're all tied up at 20. Dearest McRaven got the start today. Has been playing pretty well. Todd dug up by Knipe. Shapani's the tip. Todd, two hand over, good play by McRaven in the back row. Shapani's off speed, over. Varga dug up, Sakanoko off the block. Here comes Harlan, dug up by Choi. Sakanoko dug up by Harlan. Two hand over Varga. Blocked back. Opportunity for the beach. Shapanis dug up by Thim. Put down Alaka'i Todd. Unreal. I'm at a loss for words, Matt Brown. I try to catch my breath watching that rally. So many amazing plays. At back to back to back to back. This one, Shapanis maybe just getting stuck there on that block and deciding last minute to just not go. Frustrated out there right now. I think it's been a while since I've seen so many players want to just stay on the floor after a rally to catch their own breath. This has just been an amazing match. It might be extended as Hawaii is up by one, looking to take it to five. Varga. Net violation called on Hawaii. I think that's a Varga kill anyway. Varga with a missile. And Finn putting that one out of bounds. Either way, a net violation. And now Long Beach State, Skyler Varga going back to serve as Nato Dickinson coming in as a blocking sub. So we'll probably see Nathan Harlan, should it come to it, take the second touch on Long Beach State's side as Skyler Varga goes back to serve. Everybody in the pyramid. Tense moments. Oh, what a pound down Sakanoko. One of the wildest swings you will see here in the mid. Wow, Luis Sakanoko. <laughs> I think we're going to see that one again later tomorrow, maybe on a Sports Center top 10. I hope so. One point lead for Hawaii again. Over the net, it's a front row setter. Shapani's working it through. Good dig, Skylar Varga. Good swing, Sotiri Shapanis. And somehow Shapanis putting that through the block. He's inside the court, he jumps out towards the sideline to reach this swing and sneaks it through. But Volleyball, we're seeing tonight here in the mid. The jump float serve from Shapanis. Outside, Sakanoko again. 
If it's not broke, don't fix it. Louis Sakanoko putting on an offensive clinic out here. 17 kills, a career night for Louis Sakanoko. Just saying it in general, this is a breakout match, it seems. But he misses on that serve. And here comes the beach. And it's so important to dial in, harness that energy when you're back at the service line. He's got so much adrenaline pumping through his veins. Here comes Simon Torwe, a jump float serve from Torwe. Alaka Itad misses there. Torwe, that float serve again. Over on two, good pick of Skylar Varga. Shapanis dug up, here comes them. Popped up, good save. Simon Torwe, the middle in the back row. Outside them again, we play on. A lot of heart out here for these Rainbow Warriors. They're not going down without a fight. And Thib getting a kill when they needed it most. Got to win by two. Hawaii looking to extend this to a fifth set. Long Beach State looking to get an advantage and get to match point again. Harlan blocked and roofed. And Trent Rosenthal stepping up to the moment. The young fella with a big block here. And looks like Coach Knight is going to challenge to see if there's a net violation here, Matt Brown. Oh, what a big call and overturn that would be in a way. He has left that monitor. And Ulibari points the way of Hawaii. Was not enough evidence to overturn. And yeah, oh, I think there was enough evidence to just let it stand and confirm. And it definitely was a pseudo timeout for Long Beach State. You get challenges if we go to a fifth set anyway. Might as well use it. Nurse Drew, set point for Hawaii. Farga. No touch called. Let's go to five. <laughs> this is what the people came to see. But it's 37 attempts. All those digs, wow. Matt Brown, from Hawaii. Tred Rosenthal gets us underway in this race to 15. Dearis McRaven is saying it's been a while since we've said his name. His fourth kill. Hasn't had too many sets in this match, but Aiden Knight starting him off with a quick right out of the middle, and McRaven punishing that ball. McRaven to serve. Them working it through the block of the beach. Oh, the set from McRaven. Now Choi with the second dairy set for Sakanoko. Harlan setting up Shapanis off the block and a winner for the beach. Good patience from the beach. And how about those hands from McRaven? We haven't seen too many sets from him. He gets a chance to show us his hands on that set. And I like McRaven's float serve. We haven't talked about it tonight, Matt, but that, that serve's got some pace, some hard drive. It's not an easy ball to pass. Long Beach State up by two, just starting the fifth set as that serve goes long. A little bit of a break to wipe the floor, kind of ice the server there as Kilney Thim goes back to serve for Hawaii. In 
to the net again from Thim. That is maybe the one thing from Keone Thim that we've seen throughout the weekend that has been rough. That service error rate on night two. That's eight service errors for Thim, uncharacteristic. Sakunoku, hard and high off the triple block. Ouch, Matt Brown, off the hands, <laughs> right? That's so much heat from Sakunoku. <laughs> Torway nodding in approval of that swing. Okay, let's take another look at this swing. Great pass from Choi Rosenthal getting it all the way out there and just right off the right hand of Torway. One point lead for the beach still. Here in set four, tough play to receive that serve. Setters out for Hawaii as Sakunoko works it off the triple block. Chapanis, recycle time for the beach. Chapanis again, blocked and roofed. Sakunoko doing his responsibility as that third blocker coming over, closing. To Nurster on the block. There's that first block. Another chance here for the beach. Here's Sakunoko. Oh, in the left hand. Right side, it is Varga. Finding hands, getting the big side out for the beach. It's a bummer. Keone Thim was there, but it's a slight misdirection off the hands of the block of Hawaii that causes the lack of dig on Hawaii's side. Long Beach stayed up 4-3. The man they call Sotos. Back to serve, that hybrid. Serve coming out like a spin. Oh, the back set to Varga, the good dig from Thin. Over the net, played up by the beach. Here comes Harlan. Got to recycle. Chapat is over on two. Mason Briggs holding his breath on that one. Didn't feel Shapanis coming in to swing. We've talked about that on the UH side. We saw that play earlier where that free ball opportunity will get put up in the middle of the court for the outside hitter to make that decision. Glad nobody got hurt there on that swing from Shapanis. <laughs> that wry smile from Briggs. But they know they trust in Sotos to do those type of moves, and they trust in Tarwi to deliver in the middle. And Shapanis now finding that rhythm from the end line, creating chaos on. Galloway leaving the match in the second set, or really at the end of the first set. In between those two, and now back on the floor has been dealing with the injury we saw in night one. Providing that pass in Sakunoko from the left side, pounding it down. Just a whip of an arm there from Sakunoko. It's hard to tell where he's gonna swing. I'm sure even harder as a blocker here. A little bit of space between that block for Tori and Knight. He's all a cut you top. Good serve, and an ace. Good hustle from Aiden Knight, trying to bring that ball back. The off-speed serve from Todd. That one's gonna go down. And you can see on your screen, Chaz Galloway kind of taking some hops, seeing that there's gonna be a little bit of break on the floor for someone having to deal with some soreness or, or maybe an injury. Can that rest kind of hurt? They got to warm themselves up again. Definitely. That ankle has been sitting for about three or four sets, and the uh, fluid has been sitting in there as well. So it's going to take him a second to get that thing warmed up. Well, here comes Todd back to serve again. Good pass by Shapanes. Varga gets dug up by Rosenthal. Sakanoko. That is long. No touch called. I think Hawaii is going to challenge. 
And they're gonna challenge to see whether there was a touch on the beach block. Of course, it's in the fifth set. Every call will be big. Every point is big. And here comes the decision. It stays with Long Beach State. He does say inconclusive. That's a break for Long Beach State. And they hold on to this two-point lead. Here comes Torwe. Is it a spin or a float? It's a float. Right side, Todd. Good scramble play for Long Beach State. The block from Nusterer and Sakonoko. Hawaii working at the net laterally here. So important to get back to the net, get back to base, as we like to say. Here's a replay. Big time dig there from Knight. McRaven keeping that one alive. But here, another opportunity for the beach. It's this block that ends. And so, got to stay involved as you see Nursterer and Sakanoko securing the block. Nursterer fired up. Louis Sakanoko back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. And that one is into the net. We will switch sides here. Two-point lead for Long Beach State here in back here on ESPN Plus. Matt Brown, Kyle Friend just missed a Chaz Galloway swing from the left side, able to get the point for Hawaii, and now it is a one-point fifth set. Kevin Calling is in to serve. We're on two, Tred Rosenthal. We're all tied up. The dunk goes down for Rosenthal. I haven't seen a kill from him in a couple sets this time. He's waiting to throw that one down, waiting till the end of this fifth. Goes back to serve for Hawaii. Harlan on the right side in that rotation and a big side out for Long Beach State. Big time pass from Skylar Varga. The opposite's been passing a bunch tonight. Luxury for Long Beach State to have such a dynamic opposite who's able to pass so well. Nate Harlan, but maybe his biggest kill of the night. Harlan to serve. Up by one. Off the block, by the way, Daniil Hershtinovich in to block for Long Beach State. And that was a good kill for Hawaii. Good recognition from Tred Rosenthal to shoot that ball out to the pin, attack that blocking sub who had just come in. Shapani's back in now. As they will look to pass a Rosenthal serve that just did not make it over the net. Unfortunate there for Rosenthal, but he is playing an exquisite match of volleyball tonight. Really rising to the occasion. I'm sure he's got some friends and family here in town, the Miracosa graduate. Guilherme Voss. Big kill for him, though that's just his fifth on the night. And Voss hasn't seen too many sets here, just his 13th set of the night, which makes him that much more deadly here late in the fifth. Simon Torwe responding for Long Beach State. The cutback swing from Torwe, and he shows the fans, you know, what else? What else you got? Nato Dickinson is now in the front row for the beach as a blocking sub 
Eight and ninth out. That means Nathan Harlan will probably take the second ball. Should it go to that for the beach? It won't! It's a block and a roof. Simon Tarley. A kill, follows it up with a big time block. Torwey, discipline at the net, staying paid. That looming possibility that it can get snatched back. Skylar Varga to serve. Vox. Big kill and a side out for Hawaii. Big time pass there from Choi and Voss. Staying active, staying involved here late in the match. You might not get set a ton throughout this match, but you have to approach hard. You have to get ready to set, because when that ball comes your way, you've got to find a kill. Voss does just that. Aiden Knipe substituting back in as a front row setter for the beach. Kai Taylor coming back in as a server for Hawaii. Good pass from Harlan. Blocked back, Torwi. Here comes Sakanoko. Triple block and it's down and in. <laughs> he just doesn't stop, Matt Brown. Torwi's everywhere right now. Sakanoko finding the hands of the three-man block. Long Beach State continuing to rely on what they do so well, blocking the ball. And it does stay with Long Beach State. We'll have our own look at it here on ESPN Plus. And yeah, that is clean. It may have even hit the head of Simon Torrey. That's how high up he gets. That is a large wall of hands at the net for the beach. 13-11 here in the fifth set. Remember, it's a race to 15. Nurserer blocked and roofed. Solo again, Simon Torley. Match point. When you're hot, you're hot. Simon Torley, as hot as it gets right now. What a night of volleyball. And it comes down to this. Sakanoko. My goodness, the missile to keep it going. So much heat on that swing from Sakanoko. And Torwi probably frustrated that he didn't get one more block here on the night. Still match point for Long Beach State. Ala Kaitai with the serve. Varga! No touch, out of bounds. Challenge coming for Long Beach State. Coach Knight quick to get up. They are hard to tell, that ball moving so fast. Stays with Hawaii. Good call there from Ulubari. Still match point for Long Beach State. And it's Alaka Itad once again to serve. Four man passing formation for Long Beach State. Shifting it to three. Off the top of the block, Harlan. Good scramble play for Hawaii. Free ball opportunity, Beach. Shapanis, touch, and what a match. Unreal volleyball here at the Walter Pyramid, ending.